smash burger patties, and homemade buns. Is there really more I need to say out of this? Look, we both don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna get right into it. Smash burgers a la Jose. Let's go. Everyone knows a burger is born when the bun is conceived. We are cooks, okay? We don't really conceive, but we do create. So I'm making sure that you leave this video with a new burger bun recipe. So subscribe for a bun in your mailbox. Before we even begin to mix anything, we're gonna do our mise en place. So for the first ingredient, we're gonna do a cup and two tablespoons of warm water or about nine ounces. Food for our yeast, we're gonna go in with a quarter cup of white sugar. This is their food, don't skimp them. Two tablespoons of that yeast. I know it looks like a lot, but this is what's gonna be flavorful inside of our dough. All right, so we're gonna put the sponge together now by putting in the water first. It's as easy as that. And then we're gonna also go ahead and follow up with the avocado oil. Sugar goes in, and then the yeast that we just did earlier, that also goes in. You're gonna whisk this together and it should be ready for us in about five to 10 minutes. Think of the bubbles that form as the burps of all the granules of yeast making it gassy, cause that's technically what it is. 10 minutes and our baby should be ready for the following ingredients. In a separate bowl, I have already mise en place three and a half cups of all purpose flour. And I'm going to give it a little bit of that salty treatment, kinda like your ex when you decided to do better. You thought El Cook wasn't a wingman? Nah, man, I'm here for you. We're also going to be cracking in an egg into a bowl and whisking it too. This is just so that it goes goes into the mix a little bit easier and brings it together. Slowly start mixing in the egg first into the sponge until it comes together, and then slowly start mixing in the flour plus salt into the sponge until it comes together like you and your ex. Ooh, burn. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. I'm still your wingman. I'm still your wingman. Sheesh. Too soon. Too soon. You'll start to notice that it's pretty moist. So we're going to flour our cutting board like it's Christmas and knead the dough by hand for about eight minutes. Kneading dough is just pulling on one side and then bringing it back into itself. It looks kind of hard, but I promise you it's really nice. Uh, don't let this rise though. Immediately cut it into eight pieces because we want a decent sized bun. You might have to flour your hands a little bit for when you roll them into balls like so. Place on a pan with a silk pad or some parchment and now you can let it rise. Because the yeasty was allowed to activate so well, it allows us to almost hit the fast forward on this process. So now you're going to brush or spray the buns with some egg wash for some color. And then you can really add sesame seeds, dried onions, or even salt on the top. Whatever your precious mind wants, okay? You are all bread mess now congratulations now let's move on to the sauce for our smash burger every burger needs a good sauce so we're gonna go ahead and mix up two tablespoons of mayonnaise go in with one tablespoon of ketchup then we're gonna use some pickly boys The key to a good smash burger is that you need to have a really hot ripping pan. Roll together four ounces of ground beef into a ball and then place it into the center of the pan. And with some parchment paper, you're gonna press it down with either a burger press or something flat like a pan. And season it, come on, we're not cavemen. After two minutes, it should be caramelized and then you're gonna give it a flip. At this point, I like to add my cheese because by the time the meat's done, the cheese is also already melted. And voila, smash burger ready to go. And it looks so beautiful. Obviously, you can't do anything before the bun is toasted, so get it nice and brown. This keeps your bun safe from going soggy. You, you already know. Little bit of iceberg lettuce. If you want romaine, you can use that too. Meat goes right on. See, the lettuce protects that bun. Thick cut tomato boys. Obviously, you have to season those as well. You can use yellow onion, but I like to go for the nice purple. Then finally, some of those pickly boys, as you guys know. And we just made homemade smash burgers with homemade buns. Like, can your family really say they did that? I don't think so. Smash burgers are already so good, so by making the bun at home, you're really just taking it to that next level. And you might never really have to buy burger buns after this. It's that good. I'm not kidding you. This homemade bun is actually a little bit sweet, very fluffy, very crunchy when you toasted it. It's just a really good combo with that already crispy meat that you put on the pan, plus that cheese, that double cheese i should say and i'm not gonna lie it's probably gonna put like two inches on my waist but hey it's happy weight and plus i'm pretty sure you're also gonna make it too so your boy's not alone but if you like videos like this please like subscribe and share to be an ill cook if you're not already and if you reach the end of this video thank you you're as beautiful as this smash burger